You can have the greatest excuse in the world for not getting something done, but at the end of the day, within reason, if you didn't get the thing done, no one's really gonna care what kind of excuse you have. It may be entirely valid to you, it may be entirely valid objectively, but if you didn't get what you needed to get done, that burden of responsibility falls on you. This was a principle that I forced myself to learn my junior year of high school, and as a result, I was admitted into UC Santa Barbara with a 3.2 GPA and a 1320 score on my SAT, as well as having a D plus on my high school transcript in a core class. After looking at calculator apps online and all kinds of things like that, my chances of getting into a school like UCSB with the GPA and SAT score that I had were less than 1%. I pretty much couldn't find any record of anybody online getting into that school with as low of a GPA as I'd had when I applied. So I felt like my odds were pretty bleak, but at the same time, I still remained hopeful because I knew that I busted my ass as hard or harder than anybody else that I knew my junior year, and that had to give me some credit. My freshman and sophomore year, I didn't really care about school. I cared about baseball and that was my whole life. And I just didn't really realize that if you wanna pursue baseball at the collegiate level, you kinda of have to care about school a little bit. And I didn't, but I used to always say, well, you know, if I wanted to and if I tried, I could do great in school. But that doesn't really get you anywhere, does it? I just kept that attitude on my shoulder for my freshman and sophomore year. And by the end of those two years, like I said, I had a D plus in honors English in my sophomore year that I wasn't planning on retaking. And I had a 2.87 GPA. Now, if you want to play collegiate baseball, you pretty much have to be the best damn player in the country to get accepted to do a D1 school with a 2.8 GPA. So I had an uphill battle in front of me. Going into my junior year, I signed up for almost every AP and honors class that I could. Calculus 1 and 2, AP Econ, Honors English, you name it, I was taking it. Now, there's a little bit more to the story on how I was able to pull this off, but for the duration of my junior year, I put my nose to the dirt and I grinded out straight A's the entire time and I didn't let up for a moment. At the end of my junior year, I had a 4.5 and a 3.25 cumulative GPA for my high school career. Now, this was some great progress for my junior year, but it still put me really far below the standards that I need to be at to be accepted to a school like UC Santa Barbara or to play D1 college baseball. Now, when I asked a counselor about this and what my expectations could be, I explained my situation, my GPA, the D plus my transcripts, and I mentioned I wanted to go to UCSB. She said, have you considered the local community college? I was kind of crushed because I had spent the whole previous year grinding as much as anybody that I knew to get to the school that I wanted to get to. I had put in the time and I had learned what all these other kids had learned. I learned it and I understood the principle that if you get it done, you will get the results. And if you have the results to show for what you did, then people will respect it and you will get credit for that. Now, when it came time to apply to colleges, I focused my entire personal essay on that topic and I pretty much gave the entire story start to finish on how I had not been the most applied, but throughout the course of one year and much discipline, I had transformed myself into a whole new kind of student, one that was ready for the challenges that UCSB would have to offer. I submitted my application with my 3.2 GPA, with my D plus in my transcript that I had not retaken, and I just hoped for the best. Now, that following May, we finally hear back from colleges, and you hear back from UCs later than you hear back from CSUs, so when I go to check my portals, I was pretty flabbergasted. <laughs> I've been denied by almost every single college that I applied to. Chico State, San Marcos State, Sonoma State. So over the next couple of weeks, I was pretty defeated, and I didn't even know what to do heading forward. I just kind of sulked through the days and thought, well, I need to figure things out with my life. I started smoking again, and I just pretty much fell off the wagon entirely. I ended up quitting baseball at the end of my senior year, and there was all sorts of things that were just going downhill in my life very rapidly. Until one day I'm on Twitter, and I see some girl that I had known from middle school posting that she had gotten accepted into UCSB. Uh, you know, maybe I should just go and check my portal. What are the odds, right? Sure enough, I had been accepted into UCSB for the fall of 2018, as a pre-financial mathematics and statistics major. Out that the average GPA for my class was a 4.04, .04, and that I was almost an entire GPA point under the average. Now, this was a huge turning point in my life, and I ended up going to UC Santa Barbara the following year. I ended up leaving, I eventually ended up dropping out of college altogether to start my own business, but that's a story for another video. If you feel like you're completely down and out, you are absolutely not. If you can apply this principle to your life that results are 10 million times better than excuses, you will see incredible improvements in every way that you wish, as long as you're disciplined. Now, it's pretty easy to dismiss what I did and you could just say, oh, it's like you won the lottery. You got very lucky and part of me does feel that way. I certainly got lucky and they did take a big chance on me, but at the end of the day, I still made that happen with relatively 
limited time at my disposal. I had a 2.8 at the end of my sophomore year, and by the time that it came time to apply to colleges, I was able to make myself the kind of candidate that a school like UC Santa Barbara was willing to consider. Whether you think I deserve to be accepted or not, that's your decision at the end of the day, but I also think that everybody can learn from this and hopefully be inspired to apply these principles in your life and to really just see what the possibilities are in a matter of a year, in a matter of six months, in a matter of three months. You can completely transform the kind of person you are, and if you keep up with that trajectory, there's no telling where you could be in a matter of five years, 10 years, or 20 years. You can completely change the course of your life. All you have to do is stop making excuses and start taking action. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have any personal experiences that are similar, please drop them in the comments. If you have any questions, anything like that, please let me know. These are a lot of fun to make, so I appreciate you watching. Yeah, it's about the size of it. Thanks, everybody. Peace.